Hello everyone, it's Charlie again with no camera, back for another little update video. Today we're going to be having a little look at the, the wetness and the puddles systems and the rain system that I have been working on in the past few days. Uh, to start off, we're just going to look at all the parameters I have set up and what they affect. Uh, we currently have this puddles parameter, which affects the landscape and actually creates these procedural puddles using the height maps that I have baked into the normal maps of the terrain. These puddles, of course, are interactable, and we can also actually create puddles by stepping in bits that are a bit moist. And the way that we do that is by subtracting the footstep landscape deformation mask from the height map. So it, it all just ties in together really nicely. So I reckon they're looking pretty fabulous. We've also got this overall wetness value for when it starts raining. So that'll make everything look, you know, dark and wet and shiny using my metallic cell shader method, my shiny cell shader method. And that also affects all of the props and the foliage. So if we go back down to dry, and fully wet and you know obviously anywhere in between and then lastly but not leastly we have this rain and as you can see the rain is actually you know physically interacting with the puddles wherever a, a drop lands if I chuck it in slow motion you can see that it creates ripples and once again that's just piggybacking on my landscape deformation system so that doesn't really cost any extra to have that sort of level of accuracy. Uh, I also made these rain particles interact with the water system, which again is essentially no extra cost because it's rendering that render target anyway. So yeah, you can see wherever the raindrops land, they create ripples and all that good stuff. If we put the rain up to, you know, very wet, you can see that this starts to get really, really turbulent, which is, you know, exactly what water would do in the real world and as do the puddles now if it wasn't raining but it was windy then we see a little bit of extra turbulence in the puddles uh, so if i got to like gale strength winds maybe put it up to eight then you can see we have you know a lot of random rippling we've also got these wind lines that blow in the direction of the wind uh, that's always a nice little touch. And obviously we've got the same on my actual like water body system. And we can also bring the fog in a little bit um, whenever it you know is raining just to sort of simulate a bit of rain mist. So let's put the wind down. And we'll put the rain up. And maybe we'll put the clouds up a bit. So we'll get the cloud density. Oh, now we're vibing. And now it looks absolutely freaking miserable. All right, let's also just change the time of day a little bit later in the evening. And now all of a sudden we have a really moody scene where it's raining and it's dark and you know, it completely changes the feel of the game, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want. Uh, let's go back to the middle of the day, chuck our torch away. So now if I was to turn all these parameters down, uh, usually what would happen is the rain would stop and then the wetness would all sort of dry up. So the, the sort of overall wetness would, you know, dry up. Uh, but the puddles would stay there for a while and then the puddles would all dry up independently from the other parameters. And obviously our clouds would, you know, they'd piss off at some point. Now, I've probably shown you my blood system a million times by now. Um, but as a little bonus, the blood does interact with the puddles. And you can see here that it gets blurrier. And also if the ground or even props are wet, then the blurriness of the blood will be applied. So you can see at full wetness, this is like all, you know, blurry and smeary and... You know, kind of, it sort of simulates how blood would interact with a wet surface. So let's turn that back down again. There we go. Nice little bonuses. I thought this was, you know, a nice little touch and it didn't really cost anything extra because the, the blurry channel of the blood mask is already in the mask. Uh, it's just in a different channel. 
All right, so we're nearing the end of the little features of this thing. Um, if I just turn the rain up a little bit, uh, you'll see that the rain actually interacts with the foliage, which is kind of funky. If I just turn the wind down to zero, um, then you can really see it. Let me just eject from here. You can see whenever rain lands somewhere, it pushes the foliage around. Um, you know, it kind of looks like it's hitting the leaves and the leaves are interacting with it. I think that is a nice little touch, you know, it kind of helps the world feel a little bit more alive and tie all of the systems in together. So that is quite satisfying to watch. And I believe I also parameterized this so that rain gets rid of blood slowly. Yeah, so you could see there was a drop there. Let's wait for one in this section. Yeah. So wherever rain lands, it will clear up the blood. Um, and again, that's just, that's free to do with my system. Nice. And also in the water, when we've got bloodied water, if I can get enough blood in here. Uh, hold on one moment. <laughs> I mean, it'll... It'll be hard to tell, but just take my word for it. The, uh, the raindrops get rid of blood in the water. So if it is raining, the blood in the water will sort of dissipate quicker. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed checking out my puddles and my wetness system and the rain. Uh, obviously, this is all still a work in progress, but I'm very happy with how it's turning out. I am having a lot of fun just making all of these kind of cosmetic systems tie in together because, you know, there's so many ways that all these particles and all these masks can interact with each other. And I really think it does help, you know, sort of bring the game world to life, make it feel like less of a game and more of a simulation in some aspects. Uh, so with that, I say goodbye. Goodbye.